Are you ready? Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Vegas, what? It's birthday money. It's birthday. <laughs> it's my birthday. That's in... It's on Sunday. It's in three, two days? Two days? Two Let's days? go to Vegas, high five. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yes. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. So we're looking overnight at this guy. I don't know. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Okay, wait, there it is. Plant power fast food. So it's kind of like, I guess, our Earth Burger that we have in San Marcos, but it's like the first original. Uh, oh, so cool. we drove for 18 hours. It's like Sonic, you can just order. Right? I didn't drive. They did. I didn't drive at all. But we're here, and our first stop is food. So this is. I'm Casey's picking. Where we're going. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. 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 So this is from the TV show, I think, Whale Wars. They basically go out and stop poaching of uh, whale, like I guess whaling. They, they try to stop the whaling industry altogether. Uh, they do stuff like this, like these are benefits. Um, we've seen them actually in Austin. Uh, they've come to a couple of the vegan things like that. But this is actually pretty cool. They're letting us view their boat. We're about to go check it out. <laughs> We going down that? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing this? Yeah. <laughs> so get in. <laughs> All right. So th this used to be a uh, U.S. Coast Guard cutter. It was decommissioned. It's named the Farley Mowat because um, Farley Mowat was a Canadian um, writer and environmentalist. And when he died, he left us his estate. So with that money, we bought this ship and a sister ship, very similar. Um, the problem was that when the Coast Guard decommissions a ship, they take most of the electronics and other vital parts yeah, out of the uh, ships, of course. And we reached out to John Paul DeGiorgia, who is Paul Mitchell Products, <laughs> and Patron Tequila, and he helped us uh, outfit our two ships. So we have one named after Farley and one named after John Paul. And what this ship mainly does, and it has done for the past four years, is go down to the Sea of Cortez. Um, there's a, a small porpoise down there that's nearly extinct. Um, there's estimated between 12 and 30 of them left. And the problem is that they share the same waters as a fish called the Totowaba, which is a big sea bass. Hmm. And the, the poach, local poachers catch the Totowaba. They put out the big gill nets to, to catch the Totowaba, but the gill nets catch everything, yeah, including right. the porpoise. And anything caught in these gill nets for too long it dies. Um, what they do with the Totowaba is, even though it's an edible fish, is that they only cut out the swim bladder. It's just a little air sac that helps regulate the buoyancy of the fish. Swim bladder sells in Asia for, for more than cocaine. Jeez. So it's worth quite huh. a bit of money and very profitable for them. And of course the profits have brought the cartels into play. We believe in direct action. If we see something happening, like someone's dropping a net in a marine preserve where they're not allowed to, we'll go and pull that net up. And mm -hmm. where it's safe enough, we'll chase them off when possible. Because again, the cartel get, get involved down there, we kind of shy yeah. away from that. Yeah. <laughs> 1977 or 76, Paul Watson was asked to leave Greenpeace because of his stand on using more aggressive tactics. Huh. So in 1977, he founded a, an organization which later became Sea Shepherd. Uh, probably most famously known for a TV series called Whale Wars, mm -hmm. um, which takes place uh, six seasons of it in the uh, Antarctic, um, where we go after the um, Japanese whale hunters. Um, according to international law, whale hunting is illegal. But there are loopholes, and hmm. where they say this is a loophole and we can do this, we say it's not, and we basically chase them for many years and try to cut them, cut down their uh, ability to do hunting. Well, what are they hunting the whales for? Meat. Meat. And, it, and it's tainted meat. The meat is high in mercury and they feed it to the school children. Through that and through the court system, we, they, their quota used to be uh, over a thousand. We've got their quota down to 333, I believe it is. Um, problem is that campaign has lost its effectiveness because their government, uh, Japanese government, is spending about 50 million a year giving them live satellite feeds so they know exactly where our ships are. Mm -hmm. to intervene when they know exactly where, when we're coming. Um, so we're until we develop new tactics, that project's kind of on hold. But we do have, like I said, over a, over a dozen ships um, running various campaigns uh, to try to stop uh, poaching of sea turtles, uh, stop shark finning, mm -hmm. stop coral reef destruction, stop international or um, illegal and unlawful fishing. It's redundant. It's mm -hmm. IUU <laughs> poaching. <laughs> yeah. Just anywhere it occurs. And we we partnered with several governments, Mexican government, of course, um, uh, three governments in Africa have asked us to help them patrol their waters. 
hmm. because they are, don't have the capability uh, to do it themselves. So we help them track down poachers and then call them in hmm. and uh, help them chase the poachers off. Or in some countries, they will uh, collect the poacher ships and blow them up. Thanks. Okay. Great to see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they were taking fin whales, which are endangered, and they just took a blue whale, which yeah. is absolutely 100% illegal to kill anywhere. Um, and then they, they cut it up real fast. Um, we had media on them, so we, we see it on their deck. They cut it up real fast. They cleaned the deck, and then they claimed to have done DNA testing that proved it wasn't actually a full huh. blue whale, that it was a mix. Hmm. You know, it was a hybrid. Hmm. But, of course, the DNA testing was done after the deck was cleaned. It's a great. It's change. That's the third time. Andrew Angel's going through the door here. In the northern Gulf of California, the sea is teeming with life. However, these waters have become a death trap to the animals that live here due to the illegal nets. Once we find a gill net, it's a race against time to get every single animal free. Once we take it out of the ocean, that animal is dying. We need to get it back in as quickly as we can. It's now our pantry, <laughs> and this is just an example of one of our Missouri state rooms. That's where you went up. Oh yeah. Cabin here with two more bunks, two ca separate cabins upstairs, and then we have a <laughs> cabin. Uh, Player, come on now. <laughs> Dang. I mean, this is nice. You got room as a view. Sweet. So what's all in here? This is all media. Okay. Uh, drones as well are in here. And yeah, that's a shared. The Coast Guard actually used it for the same purpose because the Coast Guard records everything they do as well. Yeah. Hmm. If the oceans <laughs> die, we die. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. true. Oh, um, alright. So, um, find the Moa Bridge. Uh, captain's chair is the white one. Uh, the good guys <laughs> always wear white. And, uh, the navigator's chair is black. Minus the, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Badass navigator. Um, we have two different systems here. We have analog, and we also have the digital. And, uh, the reason why is that, uh, if any of our, uh, electronics go down we can still uh, use the boat effectively mm -hmm. so the binnacle is here and we've got uh, GPS we've got sonar and radar we've got uh, the uh, navigation here and here we can see what's going on uh, is there something that we are missing here one thing that we forgot man was the helm yeah so this is the helm we don't have a wheel we, that's no. that little toggle there is our helm that's it that's it <laughs> um, so, and then we even have communications to the flybridge here, it's the old fashioned way. Mm. And, uh, uh, sir, on your right arm there is the telegraph system in case we need to Oh my gosh. Oh, right. oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> really? we could send a light signal to other boats. We could signal that way and, and let oh them know what we're doing. There's lights on both sides that, that, that they can telegraph the signal yeah. so, silently instead. We feel like we're being, uh, uh they're, Hmm. going into our communication systems like the Japanese did used all their military to track us and listen to all of our messages we could actually if we were in proximity to us. Does anyone ever like chase you or like, do you ever feel threatened? Mm, yeah, they, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, like, the, like the Japanese government is like out to get you? <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah, I mean if you put armed people that's, on your boat that's crazy. they're out to get you. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Right. And uh, uh, every, everywhere we go even in this port we have people who are yeah, pretty aggressive against wow. us. So. Hmm. 
we, we do have to keep a good watch on the boat at all times to make sure. Are there any guns on the boat? There? None. We arms? carry no weapons. We carry no weapons. Like a sword, a harpoon. <laughs> <laughs> we would, even if we had it, we wouldn't use it. Uh, our, our we have baseball bats. Right. Right. <laughs> We're like the old priests. We just carry a, a baseball. <laughs> and then uh, we have all the switches that control the lightning and uh, some of the other things going on. Is there any questions? Uh, basically, we just saw uh, just an FYI. We it's just hard with the whole broken yeah, leg thing. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> so, the, we can um, pilot this ship from up here. And it's great for docking and undocking. It's a better view than the wheelhouse. Um, up in front here, we have the, the white cap tube. That's the other end of that high um, high tech communication system. So, it all starts with the red cover on it. The straight speaking tube. Um, <laughs> right. Oh, they fly right over, yeah. Immediately, there's something that blocks the view. Come <laughs> on, divorce me so we can do this. 
Get married on it? Heck yeah. Uh, to see Cortez? Ooh. That's fine, it's just beautiful. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, it, it,